We often see the product of those who rise into stardom, but we often forget that home is where the story always begins. And like so many others, Tylee was inspired at home after seeing firsthand the early rise of a child star when her sister Jasmine blew up and was once considered the next big thing. In all fields, there are siblings who grow up with the same passions and sharpen each other's iron while they attempt to reach the pinnacle of their dreams. But what if after seeing so much promise early, you decide to find happiness in other ventures? Tally grew up wanting to act and loving music, so it's not far-fetched to believe how Disney could have been one of her goals. But her journey ended up with her on national TV on Lifetime's popular show The Rap Game not once but twice, being the only castmate from the show to ever have two chances to win the chain. But crazy enough, she was also the only castmate to leave mid-contest, a decision that sparked controversy from the millions of eyes that watched the show weekly. So after disappearing from the limelight, where is Tally and what is she up to now? Well, before that, like always, let's go ahead and take a look back so we can put together the pieces of what happened to Tally after leaving the rap game house. Yo, like always, want to take a second to thank you, the viewer. Y'all asked for Tally in the poll, so like always, y'all boy Astro got to deliver. So make sure that y'all subbed up so you can put your voice into the content too. But without further ado, let's go ahead and blast right back into this. Born on May 22nd. In 1999, Talia Saginario, aka Tally, grew up in Franklin, Tennessee, right outside of Nashville, but her family originally was from California. Her mother, Jocelyn, and her father, Tony, seemed to be very supportive of the girls in their early years, backing their many passions. Before Tally ever took on music seriously, she was into acting. Fair! I should be able to marry when I want and who I want. You're a princess, you don't have that Some of the earliest footage I could find of her online that isn't private it currently. Her and her sister seem to have an inseparable bond. They did everything together growing up, but her sister got a big break. When in 2009, Jasmine competed in a contest ran by Radio Disney called The Next Big Thing. Jasmine loved to sing and she often collaborated with her father when it came to writing some of her music. Jasmine was putting out covers to popular songs and even her own music at the same time. Her and Tali's father, Tony, was into music and not only helped produce some of the songs, but also co-wrote a lot of her songs early on. Even one of the songs ending up on a compilation album put out by Disney, where both of them were credited for the song. But Jasmine grew a big fan base with her song, and with her fans being from all over, they even grew more once she won the Radio Disney contest. Radio Disney played songs of the contestants and allowed fans to call and text in votes. Disney was in search of the next big music star, and when you look at that track record for producing those stars, it becomes clear what a vouch from Disney would do to your career early on. Jasmine will end up winning and working with Disney, exposing her talent to the world. This had to be super inspiring for an around 10 tally at the time, who eventually will want to start making music too and doing covers to songs with her sister. A lot of their early work isn't online anymore, and I would say outside of maybe Naya, Tally has some of the least childhood work still available online. Around 12, Tally would start taking music seriously and actually started seeing a future for herself as a musician. And to me, that was one of the big misconceptions with Tally. I don't actually believe she ever thought of herself as just a rapper, but more of just an artist. She would end up putting out remixes to songs. And as the years went by, her and her sister developed their own fan bases where Tally ended up getting so much attention she even attracted the eyes of the producers from the rap game who reached out after hearing some of her freestyles and it landed her on season two of the show. Season two, the staff seemed to be determined to make sure the season was interesting from the jump. The first switch up being, instead of coming in comfortable, they had seven castmates that had to fight for their spot. The winner, Monty, J.I., the Prince of New York, Nia K., Lil' Key, Jayla Marie, were all ones that stayed after the first episode. Also ones that we all have videos on. So if you want to go check those out, make sure y'all watch them after this one. But episode one, the challenge sent to home, Mini Barbie and Tally, which smashed their dream before it even got started. Or so it seemed, after getting kicked off without even having a chance, her fan base clamored and rallied together, demanding that she got back on the show, saying that she didn't get a fair 
their opportunity or chance. Some even believing that Tylee was better than the whole cast, saying that she would have won. So they brought her back for season three, where Tylee would have a chance to finally showcase her talent and win it for her fans that wanted her to be back on the show. But with the cast of season three, that wasn't going to be easy to do. This cast was full of competition for Tylee, who had to go against Nova, the winner, D. Trinata, King Roscoe, and Fly J, all of whom we made videos on already. So for both season two and three, make sure y'all go check them out after this. But Tylee brought her father along with her for her first opportunity, and this time, she brought her partner in crime, her sister Jasmine, who acted as her manager in place of her father for season three. This season, the vibe was different immediately. With some in the house feeling, Tylee already had an advantage after already having the experience of being on a show, which occasionally came out as animosity that Tally had to overcome. It seemed like a different fan base started rallying behind Tally, but others criticized her, feeling that she didn't fit the hip hop aesthetic, some even believing that it felt forced, while others attributed her to being a white girl trying to be something that she wasn't. But it couldn't have been further from the truth. One, because she wasn't a blonde country girl from Tennessee, but actually was a Latina through her lineage from her mother, mixed with some Italian. And two, again, I believe she just didn't want to be considered a rapper, which all came together and made sense when they had to do a battle against another kid for their spots on the show. The adversity made Tylee leave the house, causing the cast to believe that she left for good. But she showed up right before the battle with her bars ready and showed enough heart to draw her and the rest of the cast a little bit closer, all coming to a crash when she did eventually leave for good and didn't come back this time. She battled a lot of tension and mental struggles. And in my opinion, because she wasn't true hip hop, but an artist, there wasn't that same love for the aggressive aspects of rap. And I get that perspective because of what she did after leaving the house. Tylee made the shift. Although she improved and perfected her raps, she leaned more into her pop side, inspired by her favorite rapper, Nicki Minaj. But she took a cleaner approach and used her now expanded fan base after being on national TV twice to find her sound and settle in it. Her and her sister joined together to form a girl group called 2XO that had songs that even became hits in the Disney radio space, even allowing them to attend and perform at Radio Disney Award music events and becoming part of the next big thing themselves. They kept grinding, eventually making a video that would be monumental in more ways than once. The song Blame It On You would be EXO's first to hit 1 million views and a male model on the set would have significance beyond his performance. She would meet her boyfriend and her now husband, Tarek Brown, although she had no idea at the time. He would leave a shirt on set, which prompted Tally to reach out to him to return it. He used that chance to strike up a conversation and soon they would be on FaceTime all of the time, which turned into a long distance relationship with the blessing of her father. Tally kept putting out solo music to around the summer of 2021, using her big platform that she worked for to grow her bag further as a fashion influencer. Seemingly leaving the music behind, she tied the knot with her long-term boyfriend and became the second wife from the rap game. Tylee's close encounters with the industry must have given her an aftertaste she didn't appreciate. There aren't too many interviews from Tylee's time on TV. It appears after having herself dissected into many pieces, she put it back together and now prioritized peace. Success is ultimately what you make it, and if you find happiness along the way, who can blame you for doing what feels true to you? Only Tylee knows if she'll ever get back to making music again or other ventures. Maybe that's the best way it could possibly be. But if you stuck around to the end of this video, I definitely appreciate you. You a real one. Like always, man, it's your boy Stone Astro. Make sure y'all hit that like, y'all comment down low, and subscribe to the page if you haven't already. But we out of here, man. So go ahead and drop that outro.